Now the poop deck framing is in place, plating over it is the next logical step. The cockpit area will be cut out of this afterwards. But winter dealt a severe blow with minus 20 degree temperatures and lots of snow. So we had to put a hold on the project presuming to restart in the spring. At least there's a good place to park the car now. February was an unusually warm month. So the bug got us and away we went. It was decided unanimously to put in the aft bulkheads. As you probably know, bulkheads divide off areas of the boat for privacy, extra space, and in our case, safety. We saw this really neat method of battening in a bulkhead on TV of all places. Little fencing sticks are hot glued together to make the exact shape of the hull at the exact location of the bulkhead will be. The templates are carried down and positioned correctly on the plate. And by the end of the second day, both sides were in. Pilot house sides were rough cut and clamped into place. There's no frames in the plans so as to create a fair and smooth transition. Anyone passing by at this stage would think we were building a military vessel as the square edges look really odd on such a smooth hull. But once the framing begins, we'll be able to cut out the real shape. Next, the pilot house rooftop frames must be cambered. Back to the old bender I go. The cabin top camber starts at the widest point, so as the frames move forward, the actual height drops towards the bow. What a cool looking framework. The top sides are really starting to look like something. But from below, it resembles a U-boat still. Now would probably be a good time to explain how to do away with those unsightly sharp and dangerous corners on the cabin sides. Where the edges are, some people are just happy to grind and leave the corner in a bit, and leave it at that. But we think by inserting a split pipe, the resulting round edge is nicer and safer. Attaching it is a lot of work, but the results are well worth the extra effort. While I was doing that, Gina was teeing the cabin top frames and preparing to put on some cabin top plating. Teeing is just adding some flat bar to the bottoms of the frames so the interior can be attached. The plate was laid over, traced from inside and cut. The forward edge of the cabin should flow, so I decided we should have a nice round curve. Now to get the rest of the roof on. Welding had to be done with care because the plate joins in between frames. The split pipe was carefully smoothed in and once it was ground smooth showed a very fair curve. That's eye candy to us boat builders. Because the poop deck is two feet higher, we figure some steps might be in order. The plans weren't at all specific in this area and just showed a shape along the side of the pilot house. What was behind that shape was certainly a mystery. As the case usually is, the right way is the hard way. Making the steps and sections ensured good alignment, nice round edges, and unfortunately a lot of work. I'm not sure, but this might be the most complicated thing we have made yet. The cockpit combing is really just a fancy word for seat back. The angle level dial indicates the seat back slope is 75 degrees. We must figure in some ergonomics and make the cockpit comfortable as this is the spot where we'll spend yeah, a lot okay. of time while sailing. Bruce Roberts has given a basic shape, but it's up to us, in all our inexperience, to make the finer points of the design. Before we go any further, it was decided we should finish the aft plate and get that transom on. The heavy plate of the transom must meet into the lighter plate top side. So the transom plate was braced and pulled into shape. With a little squeezing and prying, the hulk is in place, enough to mark out a template. Then the transom was hauled up one last time to close the boat and it fit like a glove. So did the curved thinner plate. Things are getting easier as we go. Join us in the next episode for that. And finishing the cockpit combing. We'll frame for windows in the pilot house, as well as port lights. Pop in the prop shaft and play with hot molten metal. Then get a little cold. I'm Sandra Sims. Until then, fair winds and farewell. <laughs>